This is an Alfa Romeo Giulia 1300 Ti that I recently bought from a friend of mine. And I have to say, this is the first time I've bought a car that's not in a state of disrepair. You just don't find these things this original and this solid anymore. There's a little bit of rust in the driver's side footwell, but apart from that, this is a really, really solid car. And I'm not surprised, my friend used it as a rally car. This is the original factory paint, which, yep, I am planning to repaint the car, and I can already hear the screams of a thousand L50s screaming, no, paint can only be original once. However, I'm not really bothered about that. See, this car has a dirty secret. Pop the hood, and uh, no camera tripod under the hood lever is not the factory option. That is a 1600, not a 1300. See, this car is not so original that it's a museum piece, and that's the reason I bought it. I don't really want something that's so original that I'm committing some kind of sin by uh, pulling it apart. Inside, it's all still lovely. It's got its original steering wheel that's starting to crack at the top, but that's not such a big issue. And the original dial cluster, which I know a lot of people don't like, but I think it's pretty cool. It's a sort of like period piece now. Top of the dashboard's cracking up from the South African sun, but overall, it's pretty good. This thing's never been reupholstered. I think the driver's seat has been patched, but the rest of it's all the factory heat pressed vinyl. It's had new carpets at some point, but when do you ever find a car that's this untouched? A lot of the rubber components on this car are starting to fail. Like this uh, windscreen seal is starting to go really hard and it's letting water through, which is why the windscreen's delaminating. And uh, I noticed this morning when I got in the car that the, the carpets were a little bit wet, so it's obviously letting water through. So I know I'm going to get a little bit of hate for rebuilding this car and stripping it of its originality. But the way I see it, this is the best car as a platform for a rebuild and as a long distance rally car. And I think that's a cool future for this little car. If somebody wanted to restore this as a little Sunday driver, I'd say leave it as it is. The original patina is pretty cool. But because this is going to be a long distance rally car that's going to go over multiple countries and needs to be in really great shape, we're going to rebuild this car from the ground up.